guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophie if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Today I want to talk about how I grew my lashes after lash extensions. So I had lash extensions on and off for about, I want to say three years. My sister is actually a lash tech, so that's what made it kind of easy for me to get lash extensions. I know that it's kind of not affordable for a lot of people and my sister made me pay. I know, super rude, right? And uh, it definitely started to be not affordable for me as well. So I just figured, you know what, I'm really going to focus on growing my own lashes and help strengthen my lashes and make sure that they're the fullest and longest they can possibly naturally be so that way I never have to worry about lash extensions. Right now I'm not wearing any mascara so I just curled them and my lashes have never looked like this curled ever and I curled them like a couple hours ago so they've stayed up just because they're stronger I feel like I really don't know. All I know is that what I'm about to tell you has really, really helped for me. And I don't even need to wear mascara on everyday occasions now. Like I can just curl them and it looks like I have a very light amount of mascara. So over the course of the past eight weeks, I've been using different products to try to grow my lashes. So I took an approach where I wanted to have both natural ingredients and then also supplementing a serum that I got. So I wanna show you exactly what I've been doing the past eight weeks to go from this to this. I started off with practically no lashes like when we had when I took off my last lash extensions it was not pretty I felt like a naked mole rat it was not cute and I'm like there's no way I'm gonna live like this like I need to make sure these grow as fast as possible I want to help them grow and I want to help them be strong so that's why I started to research and do and buy different things that I thought would really help so first I want to talk about the natural side of how I grew my extensions and also the supplementing side that I used a serum. So first let's start off with the natural. Because I really take into account what I put into my body, whether it be what I wash my hair with or the moisturizer and all that stuff, I want everything to be as natural as possible and like the most whole foods ingredients type of thing for my hair, skin and nails. Everything I'm going to show you I put on at night before I go to sleep so that way everything works throughout the night. So let's start off with the very first one. So you guys have heard of this one? Castor oil. I bought this probably like a dollar at CVS. I put this on my eyelids just with my finger and then I tap it and rub it just against my lash line. And then I'd go to sleep with this on my eyes. So this is something that I definitely think helped. The next ingredient is olive oil. So sometimes I would even mix a little bit of castor oil and a little bit of olive oil in my finger and then rub that against my lash line. And I thought that was very helpful because this olive oil is really good for hair, skin, and nails. And it's a powerful fat. It has omega-3s. It's very good for you just all around. It's really good for your lashes. Mix these two together and then put them overnight. So you're bound to have one of these. Don't go too extra and get like any other crazy oils or anything like that. Like this is what really has helped me, I think more than the serum. So what I would do is because I wanted to still try, I, I had already bought a serum online so I was so frustrated when I took off the lashes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start alternating the serum with these natural things. So what I did is one night I would do these two or one or the other, whatever was easier to get at that point or whatever I felt like doing. Um, and the next night I would do the serum. So because I know that the serum, since it has a lot of ingredients, a lot of chemicals, even though it's good for you, you know, it's not that bad, but still it's a lot of things in a little can. So I wanted to not use that as much. And uh, I know it can be harsh on the eyes. So I used the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. I got this from Sephora. I'm sure you can get it from Ulta, online, whatever you want. I'm sure all serums kind of have the same ingredients. This one says longer, thicker looking lashes in four to six weeks. So this is supposed to last you about four to six weeks. I got the travel size, but because I was using it every other day, um, it has been la it has lasted me the past eight weeks and it still has in there. Like I can feel that there this is not close to ending anytime soon. With one pull out of the wand, you put it on one eye on one lash line, and this then you just flip it over so that there's still some product on the on the little brush, and you put it on the other side. And you don't double dip, like just like every time you use it, it's just one time out of the little bottle, and then boom, boom. So this is a really, really short video. I just wanted to put it out there because I know that when I was looking ways to 
grow my lashes naturally or just with something that I can do at home without the use of extensions, I, um, I looked up a lot of videos and I couldn't find really one person talking about one specific thing. I, there were so many products that people were mentioning and I just wanted to simplify it as much as possible. If you can't, if re you really only can afford or just want one ingredient, don't want to make your life crazy, I think I would go for castor oil. I really do think this has made the biggest of difference because the nights where I only use this, I wake up the next morning and I just, I, they, they look a little bit darker. I feel them that they, they feel stronger. I, I really don't know how to explain it. But I do think that this one is, has been the most effective, which is the castor oil. And there are even some companies that sell castor oil in a little bottle like this. So it can be really beneficial to you to use, easier than using your finger. Also, I wanted to mention that, that lashes are part of your hair, right? So, and when it comes to your hair, skin, and nails, a lot of it has to do with your diet as well. And what you feed your body, it's what's going to show on the outside. So eating foods that are high in fats like walnuts, just nuts in general, avocados, olive oil, um, chia seeds, things like that are really good for your hair, skin, and nails, and for your hormones, and for your whole body. So I definitely recommend just eating more of those type of foods. Those, I'll just include a link down below, some foods that you can help for your just hair growth in general. And they really have been helping me I have felt my hair feel fuller, I have felt my skin look better, I have felt my nails stronger, my lashes have grown. I've really been able to tell a difference in the lashes just because that's what is the shortest so I can see the biggest amount of change. You know, your hair takes a while to notice change. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm telling you, I knew it was going to be super short. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, like and comment, share, whatever you can to please help me support my channel. I really appreciate you guys. And share this with someone who might have just taken off the lash extensions or who has talked about wanting to get better, longer lashes because as a girl, I know how lashes are important for our face. They really bring things all together and they really make a big difference. The eyes are the windows to the soul, okay? They're the best, most important part of your face, at least in my case. Guys, thank you again for watching all the way to the end. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time in my next video, whatever that is. Bye.